Behind the Score, the inside stories from Hollywood's greatest filmmakers and composers. Though not a composer, director James Cameron has earned quite a reputation for himself as a musical storyteller. His longtime collaborator was none other than James Horner, a legendary composer in his own right. The two worked together on a number of films, including Titanic, which became the top movie soundtrack of all time. Their last collaboration before Horner passed away was another milestone, the biggest box office hit of all time, Avatar. Here is Oscar-winning director James Cameron. Avatar is a completely different problem because it took place on another planet, different culture. We spent a lot of time creating the language for the Na'vi to always remind you that they were not us. That this was not some kind of cheesy science fiction film that just sort of glosses over the surface of cultural differences. We were drilling deep. So I asked James, so what can we come up with that we can incorporate into the score that sounds alien and sounds indigenous at the same time. He went out and did, geez, I don't know, it was months. He worked with an ethnomusicologist, and the first thing he did was just compile a whole bunch of different sounds. There were Bulgarian throat singers and, uh, and uh, you know, different uh, vocal styles from, from all over the world and, and different kind of bizarre indigenous instruments, woodwinds and stringed instruments, stuff you'd never heard before. We put it all together and then we sat and listened to it all and we agreed that some sounds were really unique and strange. From that exercise, he went out to figure out ways to, to create a unique sound that felt of another world, but at the same time hold on to those ways that music predictably for a large number of people makes them have an emotional or encourages them to have an emotional reaction. And I think, you know, the result was an amazing score, uh, one of his best scores, and because it has the best of his big kind of orchestral energy and power uh, with these really strange vocal overlays and, and pa some passages that are completely carried by vocals. Horner passed away in 2015, but Cameron says his musical legacy will continue to live on in his films, including Avatar 2, scheduled for release in 2020. For more stories behind the score, read Score, the interviews, based on the international hit film Score, a film music documentary featuring raw insight from Hans Zimmer, James Cameron, Quincy Jones, Randy Newman, Trent Reznor, and many more. Score, the interviews, available now at score-movie.com.